Okay. Right, this one's going to be an interesting. Say it again, don't I? Shit. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. Negative positive. What background colour are we going to give it? We're going to make it our usual go to colour, brown. We're going to start with the saturation here. And we've got the colour balance. See how much we can make it. Actually, oh, I always end up most of the time running the colours all the way up. Except the black. So now we just got to get in here and try and work out how we're going to run it. So we've got brown. So if we're using brown, we've got to use brown looks better with a touch of red. Or a lot of red actually. So I don't know how big we're going to make this. So I'm wondering if we're going to just leave it at 100%. What is it? It is. I just put it on a sheet of paper to show it. It's a piece of a, a fragment from a bill from a street light pole. So it was falling apart anyway. So I figured I'd just tear a bit off and use it. So we're just going to place it. How are we going to place it? So I'm just going to make it. So we're going to make it onto A6. And let's just quickly make sure we don't lose our settings. So we're going to make it roughly A6 and A5. We're going to do something different with this. So we've got to enlarge it XY. So X equals. Let's just do this one first. And then that's locked in. That's then we go here. We're going to make this one 200%. So it's going to be vertically stretched. Let's see if we've made this one look a treat. This is a challenging little piece of work. Okay, all right, that looks interesting. So that that is interesting. I'm wondering if we could improve on that, or maybe maybe we can try to decide what the fuck I'm gonna do with it. Make a mirror image, maybe. Maybe just try and see what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this in two. We're just gonna wondering if we're gonna do a mirror image of this straight away. So we're just going to hit that. Actually, I'm thinking we're going to make it probably a four-way uh, mirror image. It'll look really nice with four segments, I think. But this one's coming out as a mirror. And we're going to have to run another mirror and another normal. So I'll just demonstrate at this stage what the mirror looks like as a mirror. So we've got here... So we're just going to lie these side by side. So, so far, we have a two-way mirror, but we want a four-way mirror. So we want to make that four. So we're just going to hit another mirror image again, and then we've got to change over and then hit another normal one. So here comes our second mirror image. So we're going to, I'll just take this bit of paper and move it away. Oh yeah, that's the mirror. So it's going to sit like that. So we've got here, so far we've got three pieces. We need one more and that's in the, in the non, in the normal mode. So we've got to go here. 
We've got to go to mirror image and we've got to switch him off, say no, and it's gone. So his machines are quite powerful. If you're not familiar with this shit, I don't think hardly anyone's familiar. In all the time I've been on YouTube, I've not seen any demos showing these crazy looking features. I've never seen any. I have honestly not seen anyone do this shit. So why does Konka Minolta, the company that makes this machine, why do they choose to put these in? That's a mystery. It's something I'd like to get to the bottom of, but I don't work in the industry, and I'm probably not welcome in the industry, so fuck off, Konica Minolta. <laughs> but anyway, I don't care. Now, these, these are a little bit curly, so it's going to make me putting them together really difficult. I'm wishing I didn't use the gloss mode, because then it wouldn't be so fucking curly. So we're just going to just show, give an overview, albeit with curls. But you get my drift. This is what this four-way mirror image looks like. So yeah, we got to go.